All right, we can go with the uh, ship loadouts. I think my timer, I didn't turn it on. That's my bad. Uh, so ship one, Dragon's Rage, that's being piloted by Zedion. That's a watch a double carrow. Next one, we got uh, I'm Not Finx. That's a squid being piloted by Skybox. That's Artemis front, Gat right, with a flare at the rear. For the Clan Clan, we have the... I'm not going to pronounce that, by, yeah. by Infinite Omnit. It's a Hawatch Aspire, packing a Gatling on top, together with an Artemis rocket in the lower Banshee and a Hawatch. Joining them is Nietzsche's Montage, flying the uh, Charles Ming Minguns, if I pronounce correctly. It's a, a Hades Mobila. On the top, on the lower sides, we have double Artemis rockets, and on the top, we have a mine launcher and a flare gun. Yeah, and already you saw Blue Team. Um you know, the red team trying to go around for a flank and it didn't quite work. Blue team was able to bug out of there. Going completely different directions. So this one's going to take a little while to develop as these two circle the map. Wow, a little bit of squid and the goldfish, they can catch up uh, quite easy. But they are not seeing them coming through the clouds, though, so if they rush in now, it could mean danger for both these ships. Especially the Spire turning the wrong way. Yeah, it's. I'm really not sure what's going to happen here. Uh, I don't know what Blue, Blue's looking for, if they're looking for an engagement here in this gap, or if... Uh, I guess that's what they're going for. But I mean, clearly that's not going to work. Uh, they're going to get flanked here. Gonna be in kind of a bad spot too, because they're gonna have nowhere to backpedal, and that you yeah, know Dragon Drage is gonna want to ram them. So, well, and especially if you look to the clouds here, there's absolutely no visibility. The squid would sneak in from below. I don't like their odds. Dragon Rage is spotted though, so we're gonna see combat going on. That means the mobile goes up. Hoping the stream's working. I'm checking the uh, Twitch, but I don't see my own stream. I'm watching it. It looks fine to so far. Okay. Let's talk about the combat going on. Spire is taking. Oh, looks like a ram and. Yeah, he's that going. Just missed the wall, but uh, Dragon Rage lost his balloon, so I think uh, that Spire is going to be oh, safe. Oh, mine! Beautiful. <laughs> oh, nice mine. Done. So Dragon's Rage is. Uh, he's popped right now. He's losing altitude, which is going to make him lose all of his advantage. I'm not sure if Mobula. Yeah. Charles Mingus is going to follow, so uh, Squid and Spire are going to be on one versus one. The Spire might drop here. Yeah, so that might have been a mistake by Charles Mingus. He wanted to chase Dragon's Rage, and that's understandable, especially if he manages to get the kill. But he did leave his ally open to uh, die there. Oh, look at that. Almost yeah, got a mind kill. kill him, yeah. Oh, that would have been beautiful. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's a good move by Charles Mingus. It could have won either way. Yeah, although I don't like the position they're in right now. It looks like the balloon got flared there. And they don't want a squid to get above him or beside a hull break. In a ram. Mine might they save him. No. Oh, they backed out in time there. They do get their main Artemis rocket, so. And one of the side engines. Oh, it looks like the squid is gonna back out. Yeah, I was kinda hoping the squid would have ran into a stray mine, but it didn't happen. <laughs> we all love to see that, I guess. Wait, first, first kill is for red, right? Uh, first kill went to red on the spire, yes. That was the uh, squid was able to take down that spire before the yeah. uh, Mario could. You know, finish off that goldfish. Yeah, it's not really for the teams, like they notice it. It's more for being a ref, so you can literally just watch it back when it's needed. So, once again, red trying to go uh, go on the east side flank there. Blue, they they know this now, so they'll be in position. Oh, yeah, they're gonna get spotted pretty fast. That's just some pestering fire, though. That squid's really not going to be able to do much at this distance. 
Oh, that's... That's yeah, maybe yeah. gonna be a distraction, uh, I guess. Yeah, you see Dragon Drace trying to pull it on the flank, but look, uh, this fire kinda already sees it coming. Uh, you know, Red already tried this early on in the match, so now it's probably not gonna be a viable strategy anymore. Although they are above this fire, so if, if they spot, they do manage to get the advantage. Or actually, no, they managed to aim up. Yeah, and, uh, the whole Watcha, um... The watcher advantage watch usually goes to whoever's lower, but when it's against a spire, it's such an exposed hall that it, it doesn't matter if you're above or below. Yeah. You're gonna win the battle if you, if they uh, if you shoot first. You're gonna win a battle against a spire with watches, no matter what. Mm. Looks like the mobiles are moving into support this spire. I don't like this move. This leaves the squids uh, completely free to charge from from the rear if he uh, uh, you see it doing it immediately. Oh, they do have a spot that, so they're probably gonna see him coming. Yeah, Squid, uh, he's gonna, he can't go through the tar cloud, so there's a little bit of a blockade there. It's kind of funny how tar works better at blocking passages than mines do. But, uh, but yeah, you're right, that might have been a poor choice there. Wide watches, though, from Dragon's Rage. And look, Squid taking damage. He's gonna have to back out. He might, uh, go ahead and finish off Charles Mingus here. Yeah, that's most likely what he's gonna do, that Mobile can, uh, Couple get shots can do it as soon as the hull is down. Yeah, they really don't even need the Artemis, but you see they're trying to fight to keep it in arc. Wide watcher from uh, Spire, that could have been the save. You see the hull's down on on Squid there. This couple throw. No, this mine's not going to be able to do anything. There's the watcher burst from Spire, hull break on uh, Finks, so that that might change the course of this little engagement. But the Spire did the heavy fire from. Good mine hit on Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage Hall is about to be broken. Actually, it is broken at the moment. Although the spire is falling down. Good mine, not quite. Yeah, spire's uh, losing altitude quick, but his balloon's not popped, so it's it's purposeful. He might have just got kind of pushed. That's Dragon Rage. The spire, uh, how they're trying to pull this off. Uh, they don't see that many spires in this, yes. Yeah, I really don't, but it's it's pretty good ship. It just requires a lot of coordination uh, with the ally. Yeah, it's mainly because everyone mainly brings mobilas. This is just mobilas of. Uh, there goes squid. Good response from Spire. Yeah, that was a beautiful rush there. Yeah, that Spire was able to recover. They kind of left him alone for a little bit too long. It seems like they're having a hard time focusing a target right now. They keep swapping, but they're not oh, swapping at the same weapons. time. Yep, another mine hit. These are really good mines. I think that's really what's changing the course of this battle. Because every time it seems like a mine connects, everything just gets completely turned around. Yeah, they got pushed out of arc, uh, giving them time to put their guns back on. Yeah, their engines are heavily damaged. They can't turn. Their balloon is damaged, so they start losing altitude. You see Dragon's Rage suffered a uh, flare. 15 stacks on his hull. His balloon oh, is going to go down. That mine over there. Mm, and that's going to be it for him here in a second. Yeah. In fact, score three to one for blue. And look at the health that Charles Ming is not giving up, just holding on and still able to do work just because of all those interruptions from that mine. Doing a lot of damage there. And that watcher from uh, that spire is ringing out just That's the right steady. time. That's kind of funny how he still lifts just, just with that tiny, tiny sliver of health left. Yeah, now they're coming up on 10 minutes left uh, here. Um, in a few seconds, we'll have 10 minutes left. Now it looks like Clan Clan is going on the hunt now, which is probably not the best idea for them. They want kind of open space to maneuver a spire and a mobula. Like in the, in the canyon itself, uh, a squid or a goldfish could potentially end up behind you uh, without you noticing in time. Yeah, it is kind of a strange move Blue's doing here. Um, I'm a little concerned too because it can easily be brought into a 2 versus one situation if that mobula goes down. And uh... Yeah, if the mobula goes down, the spire will not survive. It's like it can Hawacha maybe one of them, but then the other one will uh, start firing from it or move to his rear. Yeah, and the problem with that for Blue is because there is a kill advantage, so if they make this a 3 3, if Red's able to make this a 3 3, that's, you know, that could be game, uh, even without the final two kills. Although I doubt both these teams will uh, go for a. Um, wait for the lobby timer to be over, or for the match timer to be over. Although, that's what I hope. It's 
never that nice to see uh, a match that uh, has to be ended by the timer. Yeah, I agree. But with all these clouds and just all this searching, you know, Red's trying to search uh, Blue Spawn. Not seeing him. Blue's. It wouldn't shock me if Blue ends up turning around to search Red Spawn. I, I don't think that's going to happen, though. Uh, they might as well circle each other for a while. Uh, it's, it's called Canyon Ambush for a reason. You, you can ambush each other so easily, you wouldn't even see it coming. It, it's a crazy map uh, in some aspects. Yeah, these flares doing work though. You see the spot that flare. Uh, yeah. I, I'm. I'm. Who's put that flare out? Because that definitely worked. Yeah, that's probably uh, in red. Yeah, that that was a good flare. Does four has flare, doesn't he? Yeah, that might have been the mobula that put that flare out. That was a good flare though. Right, able to see right through the clouds and see Dragon's Rage. So now they know where they are. Uh, or at least they know what Dragon's Rage is. So the problem with uh, flares, they detonate as soon as they like get a bit into a cloud, if I'm correct. There it is again, for, another uh, flare. For any of the watch, uh, people who are watching, if you're ever fighting a 5 flare, Mobulat just hides in the cloud and it wouldn't be able to do anything. Yeah, they do deploy the second they hit a cloud. That is the best way to counter uh, someone trying to uh, use flares to attack. I think they deploy in tar as well, don't they? Um, oh, that's a hard question. I'm not sure if I can answer that, but pretty sure they deploy. They that. deploy in tar. I th you're probably right in it. I've, I've honestly not seen it uh, in a long time. And look at that flank from Dragon Rage. Mahwacha oh, goes wide did. though. Oh, and that's gonna cost him. Look at that. Now he's fully yeah, disabled. And that might be the death of Dragon Rage. Uh, yeah, that watch a burst from down. Dragon's Rage, that's, that's unfortunate. So he might be able to... Nice. No, they got a Banshee on that uh, Spire now, yeah. so he's not going to be able to get away as easy as if he still had the double Artemis. Double back down as well. And he look, Tar Cloud. <laughs> Charles Mingus just put out a Tar. Does he have a Tar Cloud? Yeah, yeah, he put out Tar and stopped Finks from following. I don't think Finks was going to follow anyways, but yeah. That's definitely interesting how they're pu pulling this off. It's totally not what I was expecting to see. Yeah, that could have really went either way. That uh, Dragon's Rage, if he would have got the Disable on the Spire, uh, we, we would have seen Finks rush in and probably try and take out the Mobula. But instead, he missed, and, and that was it. He saw, um, I'm, not a I'm not Finks, just back off there and, and didn't attempt to pursue that kill. It, it, I mean, one burst from a watch on a Goldfish, that's your only gun, really. You miss, that's it. Yeah, I guess it was good to play by the Spire over there by pulling us out as quickly as I could. Although they're in a bad situation now. They have ships on both sides spawning in. Like they're gonna face an attack from the rear any any uh, way. They might, or these two might try to link back up and uh, and try to reassault, re-engage. It, it is a squid. He can he can sneak around and get and get through there. He is spotted right now, but he'll lose that spot soon, or or do this. Okay. Although if they rush the goldfish now, I oh he's going towards him. Oh he spotted. He needs to leave. He doesn't get out of there straight away. He uh, they just take the a great watch of from that spire, but I don't know if he'll be here in time to save Mobula. Mobula is in a bad situation. He is, but Goldfish isn't turning around. Ooh. What's oh, going to happen here? I think Mobula's going down. There it is. Yeah, now it's a down. two versus one, but Dragon Rage is, is hurting. Ooh, they do get the high watch outs. But not before yeah. taking 50% of Dragon Rage. So, Spire might go down here, but uh, it's, it's definitely a, a victory, I'd say. Because they were yeah, able to do a lot of damage. Uh... Well, they don't have the kill advantage, but they are uh, ahead in points, so... Yeah, they're ahead in points, and Dragon Trade is now 50%, and it's still not over. He could still get a good Watcher Burst on this, uh... No, uh, maybe not. <laughs> I was going to say on the Squid, but there goes the Watcher. Yeah, they're too high anyway. Yeah. Maybe step yep. now you can do it, but... Nah, no, definitely not. No, yeah, they're definitely out of arcs now, if they did have a chance before. And there goes the Watcher once again. So that's going to yeah, be it for the Spire, but uh, definitely not 
a lost engagement. They were able to get Dragon Rage down to half health, and they do have the kill advantage now. And with only five minutes left, it's it really it falls on red. They're gonna have to push if they uh, want to drag this into overtime. Yeah, I guess what Blue can now do is like uh, the most wisest move is just hang back a little bit. Of course, it's not the nicest thing to watch, but okay, if they hang back now and just just wait for them to come, just pick an open spot on the map, and that that could be pretty much game. Although they could inflict overtime, but if that goldfish being at 50%, a long-term uh, engagement might be uh, a bad idea for him. Well, I think that's what they're going for. Sphinx is already starting to move in. These two probably going to try and move on the south side of that cliff. I'm not sure, though. They might try to... No, it looks like they're going to try and meet him up and engage him. Dragon Rage, is he going for flank around this cliff? You can go over this cliff here. Uh, you can fly right over it, but he might be trying to weasel his way in between the cliff and the... Yeah, he is, between the cliff and the tower. He's trying to get that spire. Yeah, the spire didn't see... Yeah. Oh, this like he sees... Oh, he's good disable. Yeah, they mean they're baiting on the spire, that's... Behind him. Could, and, uh, so Squid more. doesn't have a whole lot of kill power against this Spire. Spire can respond. If he keeps that watch up and gets that Squid and Arcs, he can really ch completely change the battle and they can get a kill on I'm Not Finks. Dragon Rage trying to move to respond. If he changes targets now, that'll be it. Spire will die. There he goes. It looks like he is trying to change. No, he's still going after Mobulus. So now Spire's completely open. He has a watch up. He has Get. He has... He has, uh... Banshee, so he's going to be able to take out Dragon's Rage if, if uh, Squid can't respond. Where's the Banshee? Are they going for a ram here? Dragon's Rage is losing a lot of health sitting on top of that Mobula. And there it is. And there it goes. It's... So yeah, so you can't leave a Spire open like that. He's yeah. really powerful if he's not getting shot at. That's the Spire's weakness is losing health, but still well played by all. Yeah, exactly. It, it's really interesting to see. Like, I, I was not expecting this from Aspire. It, it's kind of like to see that uh, people are bringing this ship back into uh, SES as well. It's, yeah. You clearly did see that the other team did not know how to react properly on this. Yeah, it's hard to react to Aspire. It's in this map in Parrot and Rumble. It is a very, very powerful tool. But honestly, though, you know, one of the Aspire's best uh, assets is being able to funnel the enemy in on maps like Parrington Rumble and on this map inside the canyon itself, but really they didn't even utilize those those funnel points, those choke points. So it was actually really surprising to see the Spire be so effective. And he was yeah, being countered too. Like he was being countered hard. That watch it on the goldfish and the Artemis on the front of that squid were easy counters to the Spire. 